What's going on world? So you watching this video because I'm guessing that you're planning on moving to Las Vegas and you need some advice from somebody that actually lives in Las Vegas that's not from Las Vegas, correct? I'm pretty sure that is correct. Well, you came to the right place. I go by the name of Sean Bennett 618 Make sure you subscribe to this video before we get into this video. And I'm going to help you guys. I'm going to give you guys some advice of the do's and the don'ts, the ups and the downs about living in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, let's get into it. What's going on everybody man welcome back to the video uh like i said earlier if you're watching this video then you must be having ideas on moving to las vegas nevada and that's cool i'm gonna be your official tour guide uh, i'm gonna tell you some things man good or bad happy sad but i'm gonna let y'all know the real truth about living in las vegas nevada all right i moved here april 2018 with my girlfriend um she had already came out here and got established and everything, uh, which was easy for me. So I came out here, moved out here, gave it a shot. I wasn't even having any plans to move in Las Vegas. I actually, I was living in Carbondale, Illinois at the time. I was really coming out here for like a visit, like a week visit. Came out here, got a job. You know what I'm saying? No time. If you want to know the full rundown on that, um, I got a video I posted last year um, explaining all that. Uh, but anyway, so fast forward through time, we three years down the line now. It's 2021. Been here three years. Um, some of the things that I've realized about Las Vegas is the prices is rising. Everything around us is getting more expensive. Um, rent is getting higher. Uh, bills is getting higher. Um, so that's just something to look forward to as well it's budgeting out your money to have a life because you don't want to be one of those guys who's falling behind on your bills on your, everything your car know and you just start falling apart resulting to drugs now you on the strip begging people for money you don't want that life all right so make sure you budgeting out your money to take care of your bills first got to take care of your bills first or you won't have nowhere to go but yeah um bills are skyrocketing so make sure you take that in consideration while moving out here now i work i work i work work i work um two jobs i don't gotta explain my jobs but i work two jobs um i make decent money uh with those two jobs where i'm from decent is good um i make decent money uh but i have to work seven days a week just so i can have my money to take care of my bills and a lot of play money on the side because i like to buy shit, you know so I make sure I work myself off. So make sure you start thinking of other streams of income uh, that you can generate. You know what I'm saying? I.e. selling things on the side or uh, selling t-shirts, selling weed, selling whatever it is you got to do on the side. Make sure you have other streams outside of your job so you can play a little bit. Because you in Las Vegas, you don't want to be a nigga that's just sitting in the house all day watching everybody live their life. Like, nah, you want to get out there and live yours as well. I, with that being said, make sure when you own that strip, you focus, you locked in. Uh, There's so much shit goes on in that strip on a daily basis. So much. Uh, you don't want to fall into the lifestyle of going to the strip every weekend or going out every weekend or going to the casino and gambling every goddamn day. You don't want to fall into that lifestyle, especially if you live out here, because you have to understand that it's accessible. We can go to the strip at any time we want. It never closes. It's always open. So if I want to go to the strip right now, I can go down there and have a good ass time. So you got to understand that that shit is there 24 seven. You're not missing anything. And if you feel like you missed something, don't worry. It'll be back around within the next week or so. All right. So make sure you budget out your 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 because you got to understand, too, when people come in town to come visit you, because a lot of people come to Vegas. So you're going to get a lot of visitors when people come in to town to come visit you. They want to have a vacation experience down there. We locals, what you want to call us? We know the experience. We've experienced it. We know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? So make sure. You have money budgeted out to go down there and play a little bit, you know, especially when people come in town. 
right. Uh, but like I said, prices is getting high. Uh, COVID is getting higher. Um, it's still a thing, and people come here every day from different areas in the world. Um, so you got to take that into consideration too when you down there, man. Make sure you touch, not touching shit all crazy. You strapped up with whatever you need. Um, got to make sure you take those precautions as well. Um, another thing that I do enjoy about Vegas that some people don't. I enjoy the heat. Uh, some people don't like the heat. Uh, some people don't like to deal with the heat. Some people say it's just too dry. It's extremely hot. Like, I enjoy the fact that all year long, um, the weather is warm for the most part. Mornings get cold sometimes in the winter. Uh, mornings get cold. But other than that, it heats up throughout the day. You ain't got to worry about no snow. I'm from where it snows all the time. Uh, so, no snow, none of that crazy shit. So, that's always good. Um... Let me think of something else. Transportation. Let's talk about transportation. Transportation is a big thing. Uh, me coming out here, uh, thank God my girlfriend had transportation at the time. So I was cool. But I tried to ride the bus out here once. And I never did it again. The bus broke down. I was late to the interview. I was trying to get to like. It's just a mess. So make sure before coming out here, the best thing you can do is have transportation. Um or have a, a plan on transportation to get to your job and everything until you get everything established. Um, another good thing you can do is uh, find somebody to, that want to move to Las Vegas with you. Um, if you guys are cool, y'all friends, whatever, both got the same goals in life, uh, it'll help. You know what I'm saying? Being able to split bills down the middle. Then everybody can have their fun, enjoy their money, and not feel like they just spending all their money on bills and shit because I know that feeling and it sucks. It really does. All right. Um, but Vegas is Vegas, man. You get what you give. Uh, I feel like if you have your mindset on growing, being a better person, um, you have goals, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's plus. It's, it's this big thing to be out here. You can network. You can meet great people. You can meet people that's investing in big shit. You know, it's just a lot of stuff you can do. You never know who you might bump into. Celebrities. Um, anything that you're doing in life I make music, I do YouTube So, you know, you just never know who you might bump into That can help change your life in Las Vegas uh, So, use that as well Also, don't forget that Los Angeles Is like four hours away So you can just drive to LA And do what you gotta do uh, It's a lot of money out there you can make But that's the number one key To living in Las Vegas Is making money You gotta make the money you got to make the money and not let the money make you. You feel me? Um, but yeah, it's beautiful out here. I love it. I recommend it. Um, I get a lot of great peace of mind out here. Um, I just enjoy the simple things in life anyways. Um, they got beautiful mountains you can go hike. Um, it's just a lot of good shit out here outside of the strip. And people don't really tend to see that because they stay on the strip the whole trip. But it's a lot of stuff outside the strip you can do with food. Oh my God. The food selections out here is so great. It's, it's, it's so many food spots you can go to and eat. Uh, you couldn't even finish them all within a year. Like, it's so many food restaurants out here you can go to and eat. That's another key thing I love about Las Vegas is the food. The food is great. Um, and the people, the people, uh, uh, I done met some good people from Vegas and I've met some weird ass people from Vegas. You know, you give and take with that shit. But uh, other than that, I've loved my three years living here in Vegas. I really don't know how much longer I'll be here. But every day that I'm here, I'm enjoying every step of the way. And I appreciate being here. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, man, Vegas is cool. It is what you make it. If you're coming out here to party, be careful. If you're coming out here to achieve goals, make money, then do that. Stay focused and uh, don't let the strip and the females and, you know, don't let that lifestyle drift you off path to what your path and your your passion is while you're here. All right? um, other than that, man, I'm out here. So, if you know what I'm saying? You watching this video and uh, you got to be cool. But if you cool, motherfucker, man, you like to just get high and chill, man, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? We can collab on some videos or some shit. We can do something smooth. Just hit me up, man. We all good. Follow me on IG, SeanBennett618. Follow me everywhere, Twitter, wherever. SeanBennett618. And uh, make sure y'all subscribe to this video, too. Uh, I'm going to do more videos with showing you guys 
uh, Las Vegas because I see a lot of people like to look up Las Vegas so I'm gonna do more videos giving you guys the ins and outs of Las Vegas okay how about that